On this episode of Camp Outside, we take a look at campsites 50, 51, 52, 54, and 57 at Elijah Clark State Park in Georgia. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Camp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. Today we're going to take a look at some of the campsites in Area 1 of the campground at Elijah Clark State Park in Lincolnton, Georgia. Elijah Clark State Park is right on Clarks Hill Lake, which is a 111 square mile reservoir on the Savannah River between Georgia and South Carolina. It is a fantastic place to camp and to boat and just explore the water, to swim, uh, to fish, just an amazing place to go. We really enjoyed our stay. We spent a whole spring break there. If you haven't seen it yet, check out our campground review video for Elijah Clark State Park and also our park overview video. We've also done a hiking video for Elijah Clark State Park and we also did a What's Cooking episode where we cooked a low country boil at the campsite. So be sure to check out those videos. I'll put all those down in the description below. With that, let's get to the campsites. Elijah Clark State Park is east of Atlanta on the border between Georgia and South Carolina on the Savannah River. It's easily accessed by Athens and Knoxville, Charlotte, and Augusta and Macon in Atlanta, Georgia. Elijah Clark State Park is a large state park with lots to see and do. There are two campgrounds, cabins to rent, the Elijah Clark Homestead, and of course, Clarks Hill Lake. Here are the two camping areas in Elijah Clark State Park. There's Area 1 and Area 2, and it is the largest campground in the Georgia State Park system. The restroom nearest the sites we're going to take a look at today is restroom number 7. Restroom 7 is a full-service restroom facility with running water, hot showers, flush toilets, and laundry facilities. The first site we're going to take a look at today is Site 50. Site 50 is a back-end site in campground number one, and it's right on Clarks Hill Lake. So starting from the Loop Road, we'll take a look at the site. And just a reminder, traffic travels both ways on that Loop Road. So you would definitely want to be careful when you're backing in, or if you've got children playing, there's a lot of traffic along that Loop Road. So Site 50 was right next to our site, so you can see pontoon fish there. We really love taking our pontoon boat to Clarks Hill Lake. If you guys have a boat at all, taking it camping with you when you go to Clarks Hill Lake, when you go to Elijah Clark State Park or Mistletoe State Park, it is a fantastic place to explore. So as we work our way into Site 50, you can see there's not a lot of space between the sites at Elijah Clark but the view of the lake more than makes up for the lack of privacy. This site is equipped with water and electric hookup as well as cable TV hookup. Since we're tent campers, we don't use the cable TV, so I can't comment on how well that works. As you can see, there's a gentle hill down to the lake itself. Uh, unfortunately, there are a lot of rocks behind this site, so beaching a boat really is not an option behind this site. <clears throat> the site is equipped with a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move and a fire pit with grill grate. And that's a look at Site 50. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 51, which is a back-end site in Campground Number 1. And it's also right on Clarks Hill Lake. So this was our campsite, Site 51. So I moved everything out of the way and shot this as we were leaving. As you can see, it offers a beautiful view of Clarks Hill Lake. And as we make our way into Site 51, you'll see it's a little downhill, but you shouldn't have much of a problem leveling a camper or an RV. site did wa have water, electric, and cable TV hookup. A beautiful view of the water with easy access. 
Again, we couldn't beach upon tuna fish behind the site. There are too many rocks there, so we opted to keep it on the trailer instead of leaving it behind the site in the water. There's some images of the rocks. It just was too rocky to beach. The site does have a fire pit with grill grate and a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move. We love this site at Elijah Clark. The next site we're going to take a look at is site 52. 52 is a back-in site in campground number one and it's also right on Clarks Hill Lake. So that was the restroom there up the hill and as we make our way down into the site from the loop road you can see this site offers another fantastic view. So this site is equipped with water, electric, and cable TV hookup, as you can see right there. Again, a nice gentle slope down to the water. Directly behind the site, it's too rocky to beach a boat. But just off to the left, as I pan the camera, you'll see a sandy area, and people were docking their boats there. So not there, that's still a rock but right over there is a nice place to dock a boat. The site is also equipped with a fire pit with grill grate and a stone picnic table that's too heavy to move. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 54. Site 54 is a pull-through site in campground number one. As we make our way from the loop road, you'll see that this site is a pull-through site, and it's right in the little cove on Clarks Hill Lake, which makes for a nice view. So we make our way into the site. It's a little downhill into the site, but once you get down into the site itself, it sits level. As you can see, there's a little hill down to the water. This site is equipped with water, electric, and cable TV hookup. As well as a picnic table and fire pit with grow grate. That sandy uh, sandbar out there is a great place to beach a boat if you are bringing a boat with you. And as you can see, this site offers a nice view of the cove, but there's a little bit of a hill to get down there, so you definitely need to be careful if you're trying to access the water. And this is the only pull-through site in this section of the campground that's on the water. So if you're looking through if you're looking for a pull-through site in this section of the campground, this is your best option. As you can see, there's a little uphill to get out of the site. There's the restroom in the distance, and that is a look at site number 54. The last site we're going to take a look at in this video is site 57, which is a back-end site in campground number one. And as you can see, it's pretty isolated off by itself. So there's a pretty good distance between it and the rest of the campsites around it, which makes for some nice privacy. It offers a beautiful view of the woods behind it and a little bit of a water view. So 
there's a downhill going into the site but once you get into the site uh, it sits mostly level shouldn't have any problems leveling an RV or a camper trailer it is on a slight decline though there is water electric and cable TV hookup so you can see some water uh, water view in the distance there but it's mostly a wooded site and this site is equipped with a picnic table and a fire pit with grow grate. The nice thing about that picnic table is you can move it if you want. Sometimes I like to rearrange my campsite and these Georgia State Parks have these stone picnic tables that you can't move at all which is okay it's just sometimes not the not the best. But this site you can move the picnic table and that is a look at Site 57 and the sites in this video. So I hope you found those video reviews useful. We do this everywhere we go to make it easier for you to select a campsite when you're going camping. So Camp Outside exists to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hiking, fishing, learn about nature, and develop a conservation ethic. We want to help you get you and your kids outside. So we're giving away free camping, hiking, and fishing gear. So if you haven't yet, check out this video. I'm also going to put a link down in the description below that details how you can enter our giveaways for free gear. So definitely check that video out and enter to win our free gear. We give away some great stuff, guys, so definitely stay tuned to that. So we produce new videos every Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday right here on YouTube at 11 a.m. Eastern Time. Our Monday and Tuesday videos are focused on campground and campsite reviews, and our Thursday videos are on a wide range of topics, including camping, hiking, fishing, how-to videos, tips and tricks, gear reviews, and a whole lot more. So if you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, that little bell icon that notifies you release that release new videos, and hit that like button for me. Guys, also, if you want to help us continue to grow and get this content out to you, all these campsite and campground reviews, we would love it if you could support us by using our affiliate links when you buy outdoor gear. We have a ton of great affiliates from Walmart to Amazon to Moose Jaw, Bass Pro Shops, Cabela's, TireRack.com, Toadfish Outfitters, Thermosel, Pure Fishing, Abu Garcia, Berkeley, Penn, Roughwear, if you've got dogs. We've got fantastic affiliates, guys. And when you use our links to purchase online, we get a little commission on the sale. It doesn't cost you anything extra, but it does help us bring these videos to you and to keep Kemp outside, uh, reaching more and more people to help them get their kids outside. So if you want to help us out, guys, we would love it if you'd use our links. Again, it doesn't cost you anything extra. It just gives us a little commission on the sale. So thanks so much for that. Guys, thank you so much for, for connecting and sending messages to me. I love to hear from you. So you can either drop a comment below in this video or you can connect with us on any of our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. All the links to those are down in the description below. You can type a comment on any of our posts or send me a direct message anywhere. I love hearing from you guys. It is awesome. It makes this all worthwhile. So guys, I hope you enjoyed. Definitely like, comment, and share the video. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet. And we will see you next time on Kemp Outside. Mm -hmm.